So I thought this week I'd give you some picking patterns to work on. Um, now, as usual, I play these all finger style using my, my tremolo technique, you know, my thumb, third, second, first technique. And even though these are quite complicated patterns, I'm just playing thumb, third, second, first, thumb, third, second, first. So I'm just keeping that sequence going. And the idea of these is to, is to work on left hand, right hand independence. So you're not always playing the same note with the left hand with the same finger and the right hand. Now, if you play with a pick, these are good exercises to work on if you want to work on your, your picking independence. So again, if you don't want to always play the same note with a downstroke, then these are great exercises to work on if you work on them strictly. Now, in all cases, I, I'm using um, odd meters or, or compound meters. And all the compound meter is, is, is a, a, a grouping of notes which is not just a traditional, you know, group of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four is not a compound meter. But if you're mixing threes and fours, so if you do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, then that is an odd meter or, or a compound meter. And the nice thing from a picking exercise point of view is that compound meters tend to have odd numbers of notes or tend to be irregular in some way. And because of that irregularity, that tends to mean that the pattern you have to pick differently if you cycle around it multiple times. But you'll see what I mean when I go through the exercises. So let's zoom in and we'll go through all five of them. So the first exercise is just across three strings. It's relatively simple. And the, the fingering looks like this. So hopefully you can see it's one note, then four, a descending line of four. Then one, then a descending line of four. And with my right hand, I'm being really quite strict with my picking. So I'm using thumb, third, second, first. But because this is a five note sequence and a four note pattern with my right hand, it gets really quite tricky. Hopefully you can see that. The next sequence then is another scale line across two strings, same place. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to play a nine note pattern, but we're going to split it up into a group, three groups of two and one group of three. So you get this kind of sound. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. kind of sound you'd normally associate with a group of nine notes. And again, I'm picking with my right hand, I'm going thumb, third, second, first. So again, because I'm mixing a nine note pattern with an eight note, uh, four note picking sequence, you can see how the two hands have to work independently of each other. like that. The next sequence is a pentatonic line and what we're going to do is descend in a group of four and then a group of three. So a little seven note pattern this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, I'm picking thumb, third, second, first, all the time. And again, it's forcing me to work on my finger independence. Next, we have a pattern based on a minor seventh arpeggio. So the arpeggio is across three strings. It looks like this. You can see that, two notes, one, two notes. 
So that's the pattern I'm working around. And the line itself is uh, a group of four notes, a group of four notes, and then a group of three notes. So it's an 11 note sequence. Hopefully you can see that. And again, I'm using my same thumb third, second, first picking pattern. Finally, we've got one just based around a triad, a little minor triad, which are just those notes, 9, 10, 11. And all I'm going to do is descend three notes and then go down and up, so a four note sequence. So three notes, four notes. And again, I'm using my same picking pattern, thumb third, second, first. So a surprisingly difficult one for such a simple shape. So that's it, five different exercises to work on, a mix of scales, pentatonics, arpeggios. I like to think of these as like tongue twisters for the guitar, if you like. Really quite difficult to play through and keep steady and keep uh, playing them without any mistakes at all. And that's why I like to do this kind of thing. So have fun with them and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.